check this out. What you have before you is my duty holster. I'm running an L2 Cradone series holster from a veteran owned company called Long Shadow Holster. I've carried this series of holsters for the past two years for duty purposes. They don't have a level three, it only goes up to level two, but these holsters are incredible. And what I did a couple months ago is I ordered the, a brand new holster, but with a tourniquet holder attached to it. This thing is, is so awesome, I'm telling you. So this holder can accommodate any of the cat's tourniquets. This is not a cat's tourniquet, but it fit in there. And in the morning, well, two days ago in the morning, I actually had problems fitting the tourniquet in there. What I need to do is turn it upside down and fold it a little bit more in a, in a more appropriate manner and then put the lever, the tourniquet lever in here first. And then it, it, it fit really easy. It doesn't come out. I have carried this tourniquet in this configuration for two days. I have walked, I've ran, I've sat in a patrol car, and it doesn't come out. This is an outstanding tourniquet holder. There's also a subscriber on this channel who I work with, and I saw that he had this, and his, his whole configuration works perfect for him. He's carried it for three, I think three to four months on duty. No problems at all, it doesn't come loose. So let's talk about the design. And I believe this is probably a proprietary design, but what essentially what the manufacturer is doing is this. So this is the QLS fork system. There's three points of connection, one, two, three. The first two connection points right here is where the bracket begins. And this is really hard for me to show you guys on camera. So this is the bracket right here. Here's the bracket. And it begins here, connects on here. And then the other piece connects on to here. It does not connect here. And then there's a third screw in here. The reason why I'm showing you this is you might be able to mount this on your Safari Land holster system or any other holster system as long as it's able to accommodate the QLS system. But this is a long shadow holster system and it, it, it works. I haven't tried it with any other system. Uh, make sure that if you're gonna buy one of these that you contact the manufacturer and ask, hey, is this tourniquet holder that you have, is this gonna fit in my Safari Land or is it gonna fit in my Black Hawk holster? You need to ask before you buy. Um, what I like about this it actually serves as a as a protector, as a guard against my open emitter red dot system here. So I bump into a wall, this area is protected. Obviously if something drops down, it's not, but that's not what it's designed for. Is This holder is designed strictly for a tourniquet to be attached to your pistol holster. If you are not carrying a tourniquet, you should. It doesn't matter if you're unarmed or, or you're armed, you should carry a tourniquet at all times. Reason being is a lot of a lot of gunshot wounds, especially from a handgun, they're survivable, especially if they're in your extremities. What ends up happening is you end up bleeding out. But if you have a tourniquet, you can survive, you can survive against these odds. Um, I previously held my tourniquet holder on my outer carrier vest, or I just threw it in my pocket. That's not the case anymore. So now I am just gonna leave it here. I'm going to take the mount off of my exterior carrier. There's no need for it to be there anymore. And what I like about this is when I go to trainings, I go to um, defensive tactics courses, any course where I need to bring my holster, the tourniquet always comes with it. So that's, that, that's the pretty neat thing about it. What I really like about this tourniquet holder is that it does not affect the operation of the holster. So let me unholster my weapon. You see how the retention strap goes forward and it lands in this area? It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't stop here, but it stops here. If the tourniquet was larger, so if it went all the way up to here, then it would affect the draw of, of my weapon. From here, it would get stuck, but it doesn't, it goes all the way down 
which is also a good reason to make sure that your tourniquet is tucked all the way to the bottom as much as possible over here so it doesn't affect your draw. Another issue that you might have is, hey, this thing is way too bulky. Guys and gals, this is not bulky at all. In matter of fact, if you can take your tourniquet holder off of your carrier, your vest, take it off your belt, you'll have more room on your belt. Especially when you put it up here. If there's anything negative that I have to say in, in the future about this, about this tourniquet holder in the description box, I'll leave some commentary. I'll leave some commentary there and maybe in the comment section below, but this is, a, is, is such a neat product. Thank you for whoever invented this. This is so cool. I'll leave a link in the description box. Let me know if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments. How do you guys carry your tourniquet? Take care.